All right, this is finding contours and polygons and squares and triangles and anything with points. Now, here I have my business card. Look, it found it. Holy cow, you don't know how really cool this is because it took me so stinking long to convert this from Visual Basic to C Sharp having not much C Sharp knowledge. Come on, there you are. It has to, has to warm up to it. But there it goes. It finds it. And, and pretty accurately and pretty well. I mean, this is really stinking cool, honestly. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for a better better result than this. This is exactly what I wanted. So, let me show you how to do this. Let's close this now, before my computer has a heart attack. This setup is a picture box, a standard 640 by 480 picture box, and a timer set to uh, 10 and true for always enabled. So, in the code, it's a little long, but you'll understand every piece, and I'm going to go through this pretty thoroughly. I import my EMG UCV stuff, and I set up a capture. Now, I'll link a video to show you how to do this, because uh, that's going to take too long to explain all that. So, on the timer tick, I have all this garbage right here. And so the first thing I want to do is retrieve a gray frame from the camera. Then I want to retrieve a color frame from the camera. Now, a color frame we don't use till the very end, pretty much. So, we're working with the gray frame, the whole pretty much the entire mess of it here. Now the gray frame is going to be first uh, pyramid Gaussian decomposition up and then down. And what that means is that it gets rid of the noise, or so I was told, and it doesn't seem to hurt. So it's in there. Uh, the next thing we do is we define a canny, which is edges from that gray frame. Uh, since it's cleaned up, we find the edges, it makes nice lines to go off of. Uh, the next thing we do is we take two more images, and I'm just creating... Actually, five isn't, isn't even used anymore. Okay, so I just got four. It's just creating a black frame, and that's all that's doing. I forgot to add that. Okay, here we go. Alright, so four is just creating a black frame of nothingness. That's the same size as our original gray image. All right, now next, you can see here, if this looks familiar, actually this looks familiar, it should because it is the hue lines tutorial that I did, and I'll link to that if you want to see more on that. But what this does is it grabs the lines from my image. And now if I change my final image here to four, you'll be able to see what the hue lines is doing. It's just grabbing, grabbing lines from uh, my gray frame as it sees fit. There's my hand, you know, that's pretty cool. And what I'm going to use that for is specifically it is to clean up the image into nice, usable lines because that's what we want to work with. Once we have found our nice, usable lines using this code right here, and trust me, I've done a lot of working with these integers and uh, decimal places here to find like the perfect thing. So if these don't work exactly for you, mess with these numbers, especially uh, the threshold and maybe the line gap a little bit. Uh, threshold, uh, the lower that number, the more lines you'll find. Line gap, the more the lines connect. Uh, the, RO8, the RHO resolution I found to be actually pretty pretty good at like 0.5. So that's just a heads up. And what it does then is for every line that it finds, it draws in our blank black slate a line with a uh, as white as a width of two and the width of two is important because uh, it helps fill the gaps between the corners so it helps the polygons be found be found better all right now on to the contour polygon finder crap and this is that code right here it's pretty small but it's really freaking complicated so anyways, the first thing we're going to do is define a memory storage, and this only gets used once, and there's really nothing to it, so don't even worry about it, it just needs to be in there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is define contours as a contour of point, because points are what we're actually using here, and actually, this is a lot of, uh, a lot of the stuff we do here, like images, uh, are images of EMGU type image. And uh, there's like a line segment 2D is an EMGU type thing. Again, mem storage for memory storage is an EMGU type thing. 
point is actually one of the first things I use that's actually a drawing point structured thing. It's one of the few things that actually EMG uses that comes standard with Visual Basic. Anyways, I'm defining that and I'm adding the contours from image 4, which is my blank slate with the drawn lines on it from the hue binary lines. Finding the contours and sticking them into contours. Now contours is a stinking mess. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit play and it's immediately going to jump to here to because I put a break in there. Now, I want to show you the structure of contours. Now uh, contours this is the mess of contours. Now contours has uh, uh, let's see here a I don't even know where to begin with this but it gives you first an area how big is the how big is the polygon I found and then it tells you how many points in that polygon here at total and if I open up the results it'll tell you the results the point of each of the points of the polygon now this is like a, a rough polygon that isn't the best and we found multiple polygons in our drawing here and the way this is accessed is it's not an array of polygons it's actually a con a, a, a it's a contour but I like to call it polygons because that's what it is a con a contour within a contour if I open up H next which is another contour if I open up the H next to that it is the next contour and it is just a whole bunch of contours buried in themselves until the last one will equal nothing so I could just keep going on this for days because it probably finds a ton of these uh, and I don't think there's an, actually a number in here that would tell me the number of contours I have because I've tried and it's just unending and really the way you gotta do it is just keep going until it errors out on you so the first thing I gotta do is put a try in here. Now the try catches that error to make sure that when it errors it doesn't kill it because I really have no way of telling how long this contour list is I just gotta put the try in there and I keep going until it, it, it is, is done. That's all, all it has. Now uh, the first thing I do is an approx poly and what the approx poly does is it takes its best accuracy guess and that's what this thing is here. This is a, a, a um, a function I found on the internet. I don't know exactly how it works, but it returns a number about 10 to 50-ish as far as accuracy goes. And then here is that memory storage thing we used before. So what a prox poly does is it makes a new contour of point with a pretty good polygon in it. So now here is the here is the code that we use, uh, that we make actually. If the new contour total points is 4 and it has an area of over 7,000 then, and the 7,000 is uh, a number that I made up to guess at, oh, that's probably about the size of my card here. So, really, there's a whole bunch of polygons going on here, but I found that this guy is the biggest polygon of about 8,000 to 9,000 ish, so 7,000 is a good threshold. Okay, and it has four points, so that's pretty simple. All right, so I'm defining points as that contour to an array and this is how you get that results thing I showed you earlier let me show you one more time so it makes sense put my breakpoint there hit play let it go and hit the breakpoint and the contour that we have here remember down at the bottom here's the results you can't actually access that it's it's not accessible so to get those you have to do something called to array and that creates an array of points which just luckily is what the draw polygon uses an array of points. So on image one, which was the retrieve color frame, I am drawing a polygon with my found points. Uh, true for is closed. This it's a closed polygon, and then I'm drawing blue. That's new BGR blue with a width of four. All right. And if now the next portion of this is to make contours equal to the H next within it. And so that just kind of pulls that out and shifts the entire list or array up one level so your current contour is the next one. And then it loops back up to here and then does the approximate poly on that new one. And the code loops, 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 loops 
until we find that last one that equals nothing. It throws an error. 